What's up guys, Stock Nick here at Moonshine Harley-Davidson. Let's talk about this 2022 Lowrider ST that we did an MHP Stage 2 on. So on the Moonshine Stage 2 we did here on the Lowrider ST, we went with the Moonshine 45 cam. The reason why we went with the 45 cam, the customer was wanting maximum torque off the bottom. So on this stage two, we made about 122 horsepower and finally hit that 140 pounds of torque on here. And if you look at the graph at about 27 RPMs, he's creeping over that 120 and going into that 140. And it stays at that 120 from about 2700 to about 5200. So if you're a rider that's really in between that cruising speed of the 28 to 3800 RPMs, this is the camp set up for you. But if you still wanted to get down and stretch your legs on the highway, race your friends, it's gonna help you out on the big end too. We also paired it with the Fueling Racing Lifter, which is the short travel, and we use the SNS pump and plate. We also use the Screaming Eagle 64 throttle body with the Screaming Eagle 64 manifold. Reason being, this motor can move plenty of air with this 117 cubic inch. So these heads, these M8s love air. We put that 64 on there with the 45 cam. Already with the pipe on the Lowrider ST, we went with the Fueling AR 2 into 1. This pipe, of course, has the anti-reversion chambers. The reason why we went with this pipe is this pipe always makes the best bottom end. I like to see a really nice flat torque curve, and this pipe really helps us get that. And of course, it sounds really good too. So to top off this bike, we had to do the wheels. The wheels already look great from Harley, but we did our little thing on them. We went with the hard coat gold on these wheels. That came out fantastic. Obviously did the front and the rear to match. Um, it's hard to beat the gold on this bike. It looks real good. And we did this really nice industrial gold bronze on the side of this powder coat on the pushrod tubes. We married it with the wheels and did some other accents right here on the O-Lens rear suspension. Let's talk about this rear suspension we're using from O-Lens. It's the HD506. The reason why we run the HD506 is for the multi-height adjustment right here. We can move this shock on a total length about a half inch total, which is about 30 millimeters. This shock also is using a three-way adjustable setup, which is gonna have your preload that will set your rider sag. So if you're a 185 pound person, we set it up for your weight and for your sag. If you're 225, we might have to change the damping spring on it. Um, after that, on the bottom of the shock, we have the rebound. The rebound has about 22 total adjustments. So if you're looking to speed it up and slow down the shock, that's where you'll do this. On the outside right here, O-Lens is nice enough to mount their adjustable reservoir piece here. This is, has about 18 adjustments for softer and, and harder. If you are out there and you're loaded down, you guys pick up some stuff when you're out traveling, you wanna add some more uh, compression and more damping in there, you just tighten it up a couple turns. Really only move the adjustment one to two times uh, while you're doing it. If you do it too much, you could get a false reading on the bike, so take your time, the rear shock adjustment. In the front, we did the GP cartridge kit, so it already marries this beautiful inverted front end. And then we paired off the front end with this Krauss riser setup. With this setup here, we are running the T-Rex pull back plate. This is an inch and a half back towards the rider and about an inch taller. It's nice for somebody that's trying to get their bars just a little bit fine tuned, bring it back for them, help them out with their lower back. So with the Krauss setup here, we did the 10 inch pull back riser with the fly moto handlebars. So on this setup here, we brought them back right into the pocket of it. The reason why we go to this setup is because you really good feel for the bike. If you're in the pocket, you really want to get down and turn the bike. That's what you're going to want to do and have this bar set up on here. This changes the bike from feeling kind of like a beach cruiser to a real performance bagger, a performance soft tail low rider ST. We used the Kraus gauge section. Come check this out. This gauge is all billet with the factory Harley gauge on here. So you can still have all your controls. You can see all of everything going on still, all your high beam, low beam, everything you got going on. We also used the Krauss hand controls here. These are really nice because they go from the stock cast to a CNC piece here. This is purely looking cool. The function is obviously nice too, it clamps down stronger, but this setup right here is definitely looking cool. Uh, going back to the gauge, this gauge right here can actually be going on both sides of the bar. So if you're a taller person, you can still see over the top, you can adjust this piece right here, this little swivel, and have it on both sides. We decided to tuck it in on this side. The rider, I think, would enjoy it on the lower side and it looks clean too. 